Hey Shoutlers, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I brought cameras along for my latest dermatology appointment so that you guys could <laughs> kind of follow along with me when I tried dermal planing, which we're going to go through all of that, plus my very best skin tips and some basically like skin 101 information from the skin savior, Grace Ann Svensson. She is a nurse extraordinaire, works one of the top doctors on Park Avenue in New York City. So follow along on my journey to beauty. So how can girls recreate this kind of procedure at home? If I'm being honest, mm -hmm. and this is what I do when I don't have time to dermal plane myself, I literally get my Mach 3 razor because I'm hairy. I'm Italian. I get my Mach 3 out and I'm, and I'm, I shave up, mm -hmm. you know, against the, mm -hmm. the grain of the skin. I shave my forehead. I also think that's why I don't have a lot of lines and wrinkles because mm -hmm. like men, that's why their skin is so beautiful mm -hmm. because they're constantly shaving. They're constantly making new skin cells. And what about getting a wax? Does that do kind of the same thing? Because like I'm leery of shaving my face that I'm going to get like stubble you know i believe the wise tales that shaving makes hair not even not thicker but like spikier because you're lopping it off and you're giving it like a hard edge i mean you, your your description is perfect is that you may feel like it's mm -hmm. spikier because you're giving it a hard hard edge mm -hmm. but it's not activating the hair follicles mm -hmm. Waxing and tweezing can activate the hair oh. follicles, then give you more oil and bacteria, and you'll end up with more breakouts. That's interesting. So, and waxing is a little tougher on the skin, and it pulls. It does mm -hmm. a physical pulling. So, to me, you know, with that Bella's hair, the Lanugo hair that we're talking about, like the fine baby hair, if you've got to drag out your Mach three, then go ahead and do it. What do you think about threading? Like in New York City here, there's a lot of threading salons. Like I get my eyebrows threaded, I get my lip threaded. Like I don't really wax anymore. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of Indian ladies who specialize in this and they're so good. But like, is that better for? I think it's gentler. It's I gentler. definitely mm -hmm. think it's gentler. It's, you know, and all of these are ancient techniques. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Cleopatra was taking milk baths mm -hmm. and threading is an ancient Middle Eastern technique. Mm -hmm. You know, the Egyptians were doing things like these. Waxing is, you know, the Greeks and all that. So mm -hmm. it's been around for years. But yeah. I do think threading is more gentle. Yeah. So it looks like I'm gooping her up, but I'm really not. It doesn't feel goopy. This feels like my skin is just absorbing everything. Like it's Good. just sucking it up like a dry sponge. So these are all serums and I'm an crazy for serums because mm -hmm. especially when you have younger teenage skin you tend to um, make more oil naturally and if you're putting creams and lotions it, you know the molecules on that are a little bit bigger mm -hmm. when you use a serum the molecules all on serums are half the size oh. so they absorb immediately and cleanly into the skin mm -hmm. and then you can use those to hydrate and not feel like you're being greasy right so a good serum can replace a moisturizer. I think so. It cannot replace a sunblock though. Oh no, 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 no. So I like to use a serum in the morning and then I put my Elta sunblock over it cause it's really, really light. Like it's, it's just the perfect amount of hydration for me. And then it's like, I'm getting the pretty benefits and then the protection benefits. Right. Because it's tinted. Yes. You Mine's not it. tinted. Uh -huh. not but tinted. they do have a tinted one, which is great. Yeah. The tinted ones are great. Mm -hmm. Um, how's that feeling moisture wise? It feels, it feels wonderful. Is that enough? Yeah, or a maybe, little bit of more moisture. Maybe, maybe a little around there. Right, I don't know, but it feels oh, it's so nice. My skin feels so soft. Like, wow. It looks it feels, much brighter. Really? Yes. <laughs> and like I said, girls, like I don't have perfect skin. There's nothing more disheartening to me when I watch a YouTuber do a beauty video and she's like, perfect skin. She's like, here's how I keep it flawless. It's like, you were born that way though. You aren't doing anything to make yourself perfect. Like, you just are blessed, okay? I am not. Skin is, like, my main... It's, it's ruined my self-esteem. And, like, it's really hard for me to, like, go out without something, some kind of powder, foundation, something. Well, we've got to fix that. We can't have that. I love I to squeeze jaws. Uh, so nice. Um... And I, you know, I don't know if you noticed, but like on my technique of applying moisturizers mm -hmm. and serums is a little bit different. Most serums will tell you to put it on your skin mm -hmm. and then moisturize. I just smush it, mm -hmm. and I always apply to the forehead first because that's where everyone's drier. Uh -huh. and then I come across to the cheeks, mm -hmm. come across to the chin, mm -hmm. and then I go down the bridge of the nose. Okay. Right. 
So that's just my, and then that's anything nice. else, don't forget your neck. Never forget your, your neck. Decolletages, please. Right, because the skin on your neck is as delicate and thin as the skin under your eyes. And if you have like wrinkles on your eyes, there's stuff you can do to get rid of it. If it's on your neck, you're super screwed. Like it's so hard. It's so you have true. neck wrinkles, you can't get Botox there. And I know you're not thinking about this now probably, by the time you are, it'll be too late. Exactly. It's like eating bad. Like, I can eat all this pizza. Nothing's happening. And then one day you're like, what have I done? And like, it's too late. And then you have to take a lot of steps to undo what you've done. And it's better just to not do that. And then you have to hit the intermittent fasting. All right, so I'm going to oh, have yeah. you sit up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my gosh. Wow, I do look glowy. Ooh. How pretty. And it doesn't feel greasy, right? No. My skin doesn't feel greasy. Like, I don't think it looks greasy. I'm a little, like dewy a little shiny but i like it Alrighty, so we're post dermal planing and like i said my skin is my big dark spot in my life literally dark spots so i can't just like rock out into the world without something on my face and i'm so vain that i will if i have to put like foundation on my face after a procedure that's opened up my pores it's a horrible idea but like i'm so self-conscious however there is a fix for that grace ann uses this product called oxygenetics I will let you talk about that. It came from like a burn unit, right? Mm -hmm. So this was developed by a dermatology uh, practice, a dermatologist in California. It's called Oxygenetics, and it's been a game changer for us here at the plastic surgery practice uh, because this is made to put on mm -hmm. immediately post-procedurally. Right. So this also helps not only to camouflage, but helps the skin heal. Mm -hmm. So you were telling me you got a Pico laser yesterday. Yeah, I, got a I laser just did your dermatoplaning. Mm -hmm. So now your skin's nice and open mm -hmm. and hungry and ready. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this Oxygenetics is going to help it heal quicker and feel really right. good. You're going to feel the anti-inflammatory benefits. And also, this is something you can just like wear. Like Kourtney Kardashian wore Oxygenetics, mm -hmm. like a full face of it, when she was out at the opening of Tao in Chicago. Like she looks incredible. So yeah. it's a good, just regular foundation. And like I said, this stuff is going to be shoppable on my Amazon page. So, and this isn't like an ad. We're not like getting... No, this is real. Yeah, no, we just I like use this on the patients. Stuff. And they <laughs> love it. And they don't want to leave. And we use it post-surgically. Uh, post mm -hmm. mm -hmm post-injection, right? post-laser, right. post-microneedling. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to, you know, this is New York City, so I don't want my patients to go outside with bloody faces. So I put the Oxy on it, and it's camouflage yeah. and healing. Yeah, and it's like a good, solid foundation. It's not like, like, I love Bare Minerals, that brand, but I think it's for girls who already have perfect skin and are just, like, cosplaying as someone who needs to wear foundation. Because <laughs> I go in there, I'm like, well, what do you have that's heavy coverage? You're like... Um, here's this. It's like completely see-through and colorless. You're like, thank you. That's okay. <laughs> like, I want to wear something that's good for my skin, but it also needs to like cover it, you know? Yeah. We're going to do a half face. It's mm -hmm. really fun um, to do half the face and then show the patient that the look in their eyes is like they get these sparkly <laughs> lit up look and they're like, oh my God, I love it. Person, and they just yeah. bounce out of here. If I can get them to leave the room, mm -hmm. they want to hang out and do more makeup. I know. How fun is Grace Ann's job? Just like talking skin, making people pretty, putting on makeup, touching them, yeah, just, chilling them out, yeah. relaxing them. So that's like, cat face. Don't I also already look so much better, guys? Look, you're like Tommy Two Face now. I know. Look at that monster viable human woman. Amazing. <laughs> and it's quick and easy and it feels good, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel the coolie has got aloe vera mm -hmm. in it and it's got that cervite um, mm -hmm. complex, mm -hmm. the yeast extract. Yeah. It's very cooling. It's, it's nice and soothing. This would also be good. Like if you have a sunburn, mm -hmm. you don't want to put like harsh stuff over your skin. Like if you're on vacation because it's breathable, True. And gals, please, disposable sponges. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your thoughts are, but can can y'all please use disposable sponges? Right. Beauty blenders are the biggest con in the whole world. Like the shape is good, cool, but like sponges are ugh, like smell your kitchen sponge every once in a while. I change my kitchen sponge every week at like at the longest. You smell it. If it smells bad, that's because that's bacteria. 
smell your actual sponge. Like you can't clean a sponge. Like you can take stuff off of it, but inside there's bacteria and you're just like spreading it around your skin. So I use brushes um, or even my hands, like I'm a hand washer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or yeah, use the disposable sponges from the drugstore. And then you can use a brush to like get in the smaller areas mm -hmm. for foundation stuff. Yeah, exactly. I love that. And you wash your brushes, you mm -hmm. know, once or twice a month at the minimum. Oh, yeah. And I'm assuming that you all are disinfecting them with mm -hmm. the brush cleaners that you get every day after you You know what my them. cleaning hack is, my disinfectant hack? Denture tabs. Get out of here. Yeah. Like, I love that. Yeah, for like old people and their dentures, yeah. like the Pepsodent or... I clean everything with those. So after I clean my brushes, I just set them in there for five minutes. I clean like my mouth guard at night. I clean like Tupperware containers that have tomato sauce stain in it. Put it in, everything is clean. I clean my silverware too. I'll wash everything and then I'll put it in a big cup, drop a few tabs in, five minutes, everything's sanitary. Whoa. It's amazing. And they're like $5 for 150 of them. They last forever. That's right. Denture tabs. Denture tabs. <laughs> so I think we're done. Like, don't I look like a person? Right? Yay. This has She's been out awesome. In the world now. And if you guys have more questions for Grace Ann, we can do more videos. And she has her own channel, The Skin Savior, and it's amazing. Yeah. Laser 101 is my new thing. Laser 101? Laser 101. Right. Because girls, like, we got to go beyond just, like, here's how to wash your face. That stuff is important, but, like, it's time to get woke to all the other things we can be doing to look our best. Because all the celebrities you look at and want to look like, they're doing that shit. Mm -hmm. They're not just washing with Cetaphil and, no. They're doing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm violated. Cetaphil. <gasps> do you like? Would you like Cetaphil? No. no. It looks like it leaves that soap scum. Well, it looks like man nice. things. It looks like. I don't, I don't like use it. that natural stuff. Not <laughs> Cetaphil. <laughs> All right, guys. For more, click like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> and don't forget, all of this is shoppable on my Amazon page. Just search Amazon.com/shop/shallonlester, and you can get it all.